So you g'day guys, it's uh so it's twenty-eighth of March, um twenty. Um I feel like God's put on my heart uh just to just to let people know that I think we need to pray uh more more now um than ever before. Um so the the reason uh that I I feel that uh, God's given me this thought is that uh, so obviously it's um it's a bit of a, a trying time at the moment with the COVID nineteen virus going around and um and and just not only that um you know the there's so many restrictions with being on lockdown um here in New Zealand um uh, regarding the the COVID nineteen um so uh for me. Personally, I've got a so I've got an auntie that's dying of, of cancer. Um, she's got a type of bone tissue cancer. She's got cancer in her throat, and she also has um, a massive uh, lump, which has uh, just gotten real aggressive over the past few weeks on uh, the inside of her lung. So um, <clears throat> it's it's not looking too good for her. Um, she's refusing treatment and. Uh, guess she's just uh she's ready to ready to go um love her very much uh she's been a, a real influence on my life um just been there had some amazing talks with her and um just a yeah, real amazing woman all around um and yeah so uh so god's basically he just wanted me to uh put out a prayer for uh for all those people sort of uh going going through uh battles with various illnesses um whether it be cancer whether whether it be something else that um we just uh we just ask the lord to to lift them up lift their spirits up to up to him and um ask him to surround them with his love and uh and that you know he he just um shows them that he's there with them and uh he cares for them and uh and yeah that um because you know i know that i know that he's a good he's a good good father and and he loves us very much and uh and we're all protected and surrounded by his grace and his love um and uh and also that that we you know we lift up the people that uh can't travel because of um certain lockdown rules and that uh due to traveling um that can't be there with them uh in their in their last hours and whatnot um so like one uh so my mother she she um can't travel down to Wanganui from Taranaki um to go and be with her, uh, although she was surrounded by the lots of uh, lots of family down there. Um, yeah, it's just a real trying time, really, and uh, I think that prayer prayer goes a very long way, and uh, just having a relationship with God is is a real good thing to have. Um, God's speaking to me in the most. In the most strangest ways at the moment, like uh, for the last few days, he's been talking to me in the chair, and um, I guess I, I can son I can kind of see why that he's uh, he talks to me in the chair because you know I don't take my phone with me. I'm I'm all alone, and um, yeah, he just he he talks to me, and it's <laughs> it's quite bizarre, really. But uh, you know. You can't deny how God works, and he he works in his in his own ways and in his own time, and it's it's a beautiful thing. But um, yeah. So anyway, I just I just like to yeah lift lift those people up that are that are dealing with these uh these battles in life, um, and and also lift the people um these support people up in families um and, and all the people that are help taking care of them. Um, and, and for the people that are going through treatments or whatever, um, receiving chemo and that, um, I'd just like to lift them up to you, Lord, right now. Um, 
in your Māori name, and I know that you'll you'll show them your love, and you'll let them let them know um, that you're there, whether whether they're believers or not. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, in your Māori name, I pray, Amen. Um, so yeah, and uh, for people that like uh, that wonder, you know, how do I pray or you know whatever. Uh, one thing I got told it uh, a little while ago, it doesn't matter what prayer looks like. I mean, you know, from um, books, illustrations, the movies and all that sort of stuff is that, it, you know, it shows people um, kneeling down on the edge of their bed before they um, go to bed at night, you know, having having a prayer. Yeah, that's fine. But, you know, prayer can be, prayer can be standing in the shower. Prayer, prayer can be going for a walk and talking to him in your head or lying down and talking to him in your head or it can just be in your own space um, and just and just talking to him and establishing a relationship with him um, yeah and prayer prayer is a pretty powerful thing and um, and yeah that's that's uh, basically basically it. It doesn't matter what prayer looks like, just pray. Don't overthink it, just just pray. Because, uh, yeah, as I said, he's a good, good father. He's a loving God, and um, and he loves us all, because we're his children. And, uh, yeah. So that's, that's my video. Um, also, I've been, uh, so reading in my book, uh, um, today I've been reading in a bit of Psalms, um, I've just been reading, uh, Psalms 136, uh, the whole thing, it's a bit repetitive, like, it's all about his, uh, his tender love and how it continues on for us forever, but, um, one that really stood out, and it was right in the beginning of the book, is, um, Psalm 136 too, and it says here, give thanks to God, our King over all gods, his tender love for us continues forever. Give thanks to the Lord over all lords. His tender love for us continues forever. And it does, and it will continue for us forever. So, uh, yeah. That's it for today, for Saturday the 28th of March. Um, I think it's time to uh, make some lunch. Say a brother grace, give thanks to God, and uh, continue to pray. He loves you, he loves you very much. Lord of all lords, Jesus is king. Peace.